good morning, welcome, or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. If this is your first time visiting, hello, welcome. My name is Sierra and I'm an American living in England. Every week I make a video about my family's life here or whatever it is we have to be excited about on the weekly. As you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing another one of my famous Lush subscription unboxing, except this one is a little bit different because it has a special theme and it is the SpongeBob SquarePants themed box, which I've got mixed feelings about to be honest with you because I just don't know what's going to be in the box. I did have a little peek inside and it's really cute as soon as you open up the package. The inside of the package looks like this and it's really really cute. I'm actually really excited about it. Unfortunately my Spongebob knowledge is a little bit lacking because I've never been a big fan of the show but I have heard that there's a Gary the Snail in here which is I think Spongebob's cat. Not positive on that, sorry, um, but the scent description for that one sounded delicious. So if that one's in here, I'm going to be really excited. And then there are a bunch of other oceany themed products in the boat, so I'm going to open those up and see what is inside. Okay, first thing out of the box, I haven't looked at it, but it is a little card. It's really cute, and it says, come on in, the water's fine. So I'm guessing everything is going to be like Spongebob, sea-ish. First thing out of the box is not the Gary the Snail bath bomb, which I hope is in here. Yes, it is in here. It says in my little instruction guide. I'm not going to show it to you because I haven't seen it yet. But the first one is the Mermaid bath bomb. Mermaid bath bomb, as you guys can see, it looks very similar to Intergalactic. I don't have an Intergalactic on my little table in front of me right now, but Intergalactic is the one that's like blue, looks like this. But this one's very pretty. I wonder what it's going to smell like. So let's give it a little smell. Mmm, that smells really good. I don't know exactly what it is, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Avo bath scent. Don't quote me on that, but we're going to check the description on the instructions. I'm going to tell you guys what's in it. So it is scented with lemon myrtle oil, which I love, yelling yelling oil, grapefruit oil. It also has some coarse sea salt in there. So basically, I guess it's supposed to give you kind of the feeling that you're in the ocean. I don't know if the ocean smells like lemons, but I am here for it. Moving on to the next item is, oh, it looks like a soap of some kind. Wait a second. I don't think it's actually a soap. I think, is it shampoo? Is this the Trichomania shampoo bar? Yes, okay, so it's not actually a shampoo bar, but it's called the Trichomania Solid Shampoo, which has been around for a really long time at Lush. Although back in the day, it used to be an all white bar and they used to do slices, which obviously this has been sliced up, but it is a really beautiful, nourishing coconut shampoo that obviously comes in the solid form and it's very moisturizing and nourishing and it kind of smells like that candy it was like a coconut neapolitan candy from when i was growing up in the 90s if you know what i'm talking about great if you don't it smelled like coconut and it was delicious but let's give it a good smell oh it still smells the same but it feels like maybe it's been a while but it, maybe it has a little bit of a florally scent to it hang on no, I think the floral is probably coming from something else in this box, but it's really pretty. I wish it had like a um, like brown section, so it would really look like the Neapolitan candy, but I'm here for it. Mm, that smells really good. Okay, so the ingredients in Trichomania, Trichomania Salad Shampoo are coconut and vertebrate oil. So you're going to get a whole bunch of coconut essences here in this, which totally makes sense of the SpongeBob theme because it's like, you know, tropical coconut, the ocean, that kind of thing, but... Oh, this is perfect because not only is the shampoo incredible, but I also need a new shampoo bar. Moving on to the next product. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so exciting. It is finally the Gary the Snail bath bomb, which is the main reason I purchased this box, to be honest with you. Although I'm not a huge fan of SpongeBob, I just think Gary the Snail is so, so cute. Look at how adorable this is. How can you not love Gary the Snail? It's so cute. And you guys might not know this, but we actually have like a little thing for snails in our house because we have a lot of them in our garden. So I'm going to give it a smell and then I'll tell you guys all about the scent. So... Ooh, that's really interesting. It almost has like a, a very sweet scent to the background of it. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting like a, I don't know, like more of an earthy smell because it's a snail. But anyway, let's check out the ingredients. So, Gary the Snail Bath Bomb is scented with vanilla absolute, clary sage oil, lavender oil, and bezon or resinoid. And that's it. So, it is really sweet. I guess it's kind of like a spin-off to me of like almost like the sleepy scent, but like with more. Do you guys know what I mean? If you get the subscription box, or even those of you who have heard the description, let me know what you think. Um, is it like sleepy? Is it not a spin-off of sleepy? I don't know, but please tell me because I'm very curious. Next item in the box appears to be a soap, or at least it's a hope it's a soap. It's been melting all over my fingers, and it is the Patrick Soap. Patrick Soap, it looks very similar actually to the Patrick Bubble Bar that's coming out in shops in the next couple of days. For the record, I'm probably not going to purchase that collection because so far I've had a lot of Spongebob-y things in this box, but it's very cute actually. Um, and it looks like it has like some berry or a flower or something sticking out of it, so let's give it a little smell. 
Oh, that smells incredible. Usually this isn't a scent that I would pick up because typically in the stores I kind of go for more like earthier, more like natural scents, but wow, this is really good. So I'm gonna check my ingredients. Actually, I'm gonna set it down first because it's really melting everywhere. So the main ingredients at first are rapeseed oil and coconut oil, so that's why it's so melty and delicious. It also has another kind of coconut oil, fir, balsam, resinoid, and vanilla absolute. Hmm, so why does it smell fruiting to me? Maybe it was sitting next to something in the box that was really fruity. I don't know, but I really like it, so that'll be really fun. And I think it'll be really fun to have around this summer in the bathroom, you know, from when we're coming back from the pool or um, from beaches, if it ever gets warm enough in the UK this summer to go to beaches. Next item in the box is, I think it's a reusable bubble bar. It looks like this, and it is the Bikini Bottom Reusable Bubble Bar. So a reusable bubble bar is similar to a regular bubble bar, except that you don't crumble it up. You actually just run this under the tap until you've had enough, and then you can just set it aside and use it again. I'm going to give it a little smell. I don't know what that is, but I'm not sure if I like it. But it is really cool, like a little life preserver. It's like little man's going to love it. But the scents in the Bikini Bottom Reusable Bubble Bar are Divana Oil, Tonka Absolute, and Fur Balsam Resinoid, which is really similar to the... Soap, or actually, is that exactly the same as the soap? Maybe this is one that's going to smell a little bit better in the water, I'm not sure, but I know that either way, Little Man will love it, so it's not going to go to waste around here. Little Man loves bubbles, so that'll be really fun for him. Maybe you can give it to him as like a 4th of July present, because that's in a couple of days. Not sure. Okay, moving on to, it looks like there's only one more item in the box, which is kind of sad. You guys know I'm always sad at this point, but it is, I think, a bubble bar, and it is the Bubbling Under Bubble Bar, which looks like this. Oh wow, it's crumbling all over my fingers. I don't know if you guys can see. You can actually see better in the back of the bubble bar. Um, it has lots of seaweed pieces and sea salt, so I'm guessing this is going to be either a very similar, as far as like the skincare experience, just big blue. I can't remember what big blue smells like because it's not one of my favorite scents, so I'm gonna give this a smell and then I'll tell you guys what the official scent description is. So, let's see. Oh, that's actually really good. If this is big blue, maybe I do like big blue. Anyways, it is scented with Persian lime oil, lavender oil, and seaweed absolute, and arame seaweed. So the arame seaweed is the little pieces that are on here, so very interesting. As you guys know, I'm not really a big fan of bubble bars. They're fun, but I'm a bit lazy, but this will be fun to try, and I definitely will have to get a hold of a big blue bath bomb to see if it smells the same. One more sniff. And then I'm going to put this down because for some reason I feel like it's also melting on my fingers. Maybe my fingers are just slippery. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it. That's everything that's in the box for the SpongeBob unboxing. To be completely honest with you, for some reason I thought there would be a lot less SpongeBob things in here because I know that the stores are launching a SpongeBob collection, as I've mentioned. So I don't know. They, I know these, these products are different than the ones that came in the store, but I almost wonder if maybe like they made a bunch of the products and then... They chose the best ones, the things that would sell better for the stores, and then put these special ones into the box. And with that being said, I guess that means that's the end of our little unboxing for today, which is, of course, very sad. My favorite item in the box, I would have to say, is the... I don't know, I really love the Gary the Snail a lot, because it's just so, so cute. But I think I'm going to have to say that my favorite item in the box is the Trichomania shampoo. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Trichomania is one of my favorite shampoos from Lush, and it's just so lovely and nourishing. Also, I feel like Lush kind of read my mind when it came to this box because I literally just ran out of shampoo last night. So that means I have shampoo for tonight and I don't have to go out today. So that's fun. And then my least favorite product in the box is probably the... I don't know, the Bikini Bottom Bubble Bar, only because of the fact that I don't really like the scent in this formula, and I don't know why. I'm hoping it smells different in the water, but it'll still be a really good gift for Little Man for 4th of July. So yeah, so that's it. So if you got this box, please let me know in the comment section what your favorite item in the box was. If you didn't, which item do you want the most? And also, since the SpongeBob collaboration is coming out soon, let me know which items you're most excited from the collaboration. Like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.